All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about compositing. One of the nice things about Revit is that you can take a vector view out and a rendering from the same view. So what I've done is this is a 3D view that I've set up and I have it in hidden line which when I print this to PDF will give me vectors, right? And then I could also render this and if I control tab you'll see there's the rendering of this similar piece. And if you look at my I have a JPEG that I've exported and then I also have a PDF that I've exported of the same view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open those up in um, Adobe Illustrator and composite them. So I'll go ahead and close this, minimize this. If I go to the Adobe Illustrator and go to File Open, I can open up that Diver PDF, click Open, and it places that. I'm going to Control Zero, so it places it in my view. I want to go ahead and just select this and let's go ahead and transform rotate. Um, let's do, I think, negative 90 is what we need. Click OK. So now we've got that vertically and then I'm just going to go to File, Document Setup and edit the artboard and just make this artboard a little more compact. Okay. Now once I've got that, go ahead and sort of zoom in on this guy so you can see him a little bit more closely. Now there are some stray lines and stuff in here so if you look like that's a weird line so you can come in and sort of clean these guys up so I'm just going to delete that line out of there. Maybe we'll scroll over and see. We've got um, some other lines that may or may not be effective. Once we get the uh, I think once we get the the image in here, we'll have a better idea of what we want to keep. Now, I think what I'm going to do at this point, and then we'll, is I'm going to make a window around all those lines, and I'm just going to change them to maybe a 0.25 or let's make them a little thick for right now make them 0.5 so we can see them a little better okay all right so we've got the PDF in in the next installment we'll bring in the um, image file and composite it behind this one